Hey, what up, superstars? This your boy. I bet on me with some more Destiny 2 content. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to craft the perfect Philo Tactic Spiral God Roll Pulse Rifle in Destiny 2 Season of the Deep. And you could take this bad boy into both PvP and PvE, and you're just gonna be annihilating the competition. Now, make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I'm gonna give you guys a legal cheat on how to make this weapon so much better than any other person who's using this weapon and it's just gonna destroy any competition out there. One of my friends was telling me yesterday, bet don't waste your time giving these Destiny 2 players your advantages that you have on these people because these players are arrogant and they don't value great players. But I told him, I said, Tony, it gotta be one person out there, man, who gonna listen to your boy and this is gonna change their gameplay forever. Lastly, I want to tell you guys, welcome to the channel. I appreciate the support. Now, the Philotactic Spiral is a art primary craftable pulse rifle that you could get from the Lightfall campaign. And you definitely want to make sure you get a roll that's craftable. Now, to be more specific on how to get this weapon, when you're halfway through the Lightfall campaign, Nimbus is actually going to give you a red border version of this weapon that you could use to craft. Now, you're going to need five red borders to be able to craft this weapon. However, what you can do, like I said, Nimbus is going to give you one red border halfway through the campaign. You have have three characters so just switch to your other character get halfway through it and he'll give you two more red borders so that'll give you a total of three and to get more of these weapons the only thing you'll have to do is just do some public events on the Amuna where you can open up the chest and it's a random drop or you can also open up chests just laying around on the Amuna and then you can even rank up your package on the Amuna and you'll be able to get these weapons to drop and if you're having a hard time getting red borders to drop you could just use the deep sight harmonizers that we get in our season pass and you could convert those other two into red borders so now you'll have five now this weapon is a 340 rounds per minute 28 in the magazine with a base recoil of 80 now it's a high impact frame so it's slow firing with high damage and this weapon is more accurate when stationary and moving slowly and aiming down sights and it's in the same archetype as the no time to explain and the messenger pulse rifle however i believe if you get a god roll crafted version of this weapon it is better than those two weapons and I've never played with a weapon where I've been so torn between two different god rolls that to me are the best two god rolls I've played with on the 340 pulse rifle in Destiny 2. So I'm actually going to do something that I normally never do. I'm going to give you guys two referrals on which god rolls to choose and you just kind of choose the best best on the situation and your play style. And also guys down in the comment section I would love to know what you guys think about this weapon what roles are you farming for what roles do you really love and with both of these god rolls it's gonna have the same damage output and it's also gonna have the exact same ttk which ttk means time to kill how fast you could kill somebody with this weapon now for the damage output now for the crit which is the head you're looking at 43.95 damage now for the body you're looking at 27 0.50 damage so if you're in the right range for this weapon that is the damage per bullet that hits now for this guy roll for the optimal ttk which is to the head we're looking at 0 0.60 seconds all right now if you're going for body shots you're looking at 1.07 seconds this is some of the fastest ttk in destiny 2 now when it comes to this weapon damage fall off on one of the guy rolls you could get 41.3 meters that's aiming down sights and then you could get 23.112 meters and that's hip firing also, this weapon has the origin trait, Nanotech Tracer Rockets. Landing multiple hits, turn your next shot into a homing micro rocket. So upon multiple hits, this weapon shoots out a rocket that tracks. So upon multiple hits with this weapon, it shoots out a tracking rocket that matches the weapon's elemental damage type. All right, so now we're about to get into both of the God rolls that I'm referring to you guys. Now, right before we do, make sure you stick around to this end of this video so I could give you guys that advantage that I talked about where you're going to be able to take advantage and pretty much beat almost any guardian in the game with this weapon. Both of these God roll options will have a range masterwork on them. So for the first God roll in line number one, we're going to go with small bore, which add plus seven to your range, plus seven to your stability. Line number two, we're going to go with ricochet rounds where your rounds ricochet off hard surfaces and it increases your range by plus five and your stability by plus ten and line number three we're gonna go with enhanced keep away which significantly increases reload 
range and accuracy when no combatants are in close proximity. So if no enemies are within 15 meters, it's going to grant plus 12 to your range, also plus 32 to your reload speed, and it's going to narrow the accuracy cone by 7.5%. And in line number four, we're going with enhanced kill clip. So reloading after defeating a target grants increased damage for an improved duration. So how it works is like this. Upon finishing a reload for 3.6 seconds from the weapon kill, you get 25% increased damage for 5.5 seconds. So after you get a kill with this weapon, you get 3.6 seconds to reload this weapon to perk kill clip. So what I like to do, if I'm not around an enemy after I get a kill, I try to move around for a few seconds so I can find an the enemy, then go ahead and reload so I could go ahead and perk kill clip because then you only have 5.5 seconds to use it. So I want to make sure that I could get a lot of double kills with this weapon. All right, now let's get into my second God Roll recommendation. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, man. This is actually my best one that I like using. This is my favorite one, at least in PvP. And this one is my Tunnel Vision God Roll, which we still have small born line number one, add plus seven to range and stability, ricochet rounds in line number two, add plus five to your range, plus five to your stability. But in line number three, we're going to go with Enhanced Tunnel Vision because reloading after defeating a target greatly increases the target acquisition and aim down sight speed for improved duration. So it's gonna grant the buff following upon finishing a reload within 3.6 seconds of a kill. So it's gonna give you way more than plus 20 aim assist, it's gonna add more than 20% accuracy cone size, and it's gonna give you some ADS handling improvement as well. And in line number four, we're gonna go with kill clip again, which reloading after defeating the target grants increased damage for an improved duration. Now it's the reason why I love this tunnel vision god roll versus the keep away god roll and it's actually tied to the reason I asked you guys to stick around to the end of this video at the beginning of the video. And the fellow tactic is amazing but the one setback to this weapon is that it only has 31 aim assist on the base roll. So aim assistance is the weapon's ability to augment your aim. So it's pretty much an end game cheat that allows your weapon to stick to the player to make it easier for you to get kills. So the higher the aim assistance the easier it is for you to get kills and it'll make you look like a better player. So with Bungie knowing that this weapon has so many good golly traits on it, they had to make the aim assistance very low or it will just be so broken, but it's a way to get around that. So if you add a target adjuster weapon mod to your weapon, it's gonna increase your aim assist from 31 to 36 and it's gonna make a huge difference. However, it is a way to take your aim assist off the charts. How you do that is by adding three arc targeting mods to your helmet. They only cost one energy cost and they add plus 10 to your aim assistance. So let me show you the stats of the keep away god roll versus the tunnel vision god roll and I'm going to show you why I like the tunnel roll god roll version better. So it's going to give us 92 range so it's going to give us 41 meters on the damage fall off. Only one meter more than the uh, tunnel vision but I I'll take that little one one meter ding because I'm going to show you why. Now it gives 61 to stability, reload speed to 64. Now the aim assistance is going to be 46. This is a real good one for PvE than more than PvP in my opinion. Now on this roll, the range goes down to 80, so it's only one meter damage fall off, but the stability is still the same. The reload is 32, but look at the aim assistance, guys. It went from 46 to 66. That's plus 20 aim assistance and with the 61 aim assistance and the recoil of 80 now with 66 aim assist this weapon is like a legal cheat the game is actually doing a lot of the work for you with killing enemies and getting headshots so you can have faster ttk now your 340 pulse rifle has the exact same aim assistance or more than most 450 pulse rifles so if you are interested in more destiny 2 weapon review videos i would suggest you watch this playlist next also don't forget to like and sub you guys have a blessed day peace